everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I have a Michaels haul to share with you. I picked up a few random, random craft supplies that I've had on my list for a while. And so let's have a look at what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up is this Fiskars um, paper trimmer. Uh, this is the smaller size, but I like this version because it's a guillotine cut where you pick up the lever and chop it down. Uh, the other type, you have a blade that you run along the edge once you have your paper underneath the, um, the guide. And I like this one because it's nice and quick and easy to use. I like the chopper and I feel like I can be more precise with it. And so this one I picked up and I had a 55% off one item coupon. And this was $31.50 and then marked down from that. So I got a really great deal on this and it's been on my list for a while. I'm really excited to use this to cut up some cardstock and have some pre-folded cards on hand as well as some base um, cardstock as well, like for the backgrounds of my cards and whatnot. So I think this will come in really, really handy. I'm going to do an unboxing video um, in a separate video as well, and that will be coming soon. So make sure you subscribe so that you're notified when that's posted, and I'll do a review as well. So the next thing I picked up were some papers. Uh, Michaels has quite a selection of just loose leaf papers. These are 12 by 12 size and they're, I think, primarily made for scrapbooking. I like to use these for backgrounds when I take photos of my cards. And as well, I sometimes use them, use them in my designs. So this one in the background here, green linen, I've used this before. I like to use this for grass. It's a nice yellow green color and I really think it's really pretty. And especially with spring, it makes a really nice grass color. So I've used that quite a bit. I have one sheet already, but it's almost empty, so I wanted to get a few more. And then I picked up these colors as well. Um, they're very springy too. They're all linen sheets. They actually have like a linen texture and they're really beautiful. I thought the colors were just really yummy for spring. So I picked up these papers. Another item I picked up was this Recollections embossing powder. I have a few embossing powders, but I don't have a very big selection of colors. And I thought this was really nice. It's a pearlized purple color. And I thought it looked nice with this cardstock too. So I can see pairing those together and it looking really nice together. So I wanted to sort of expand my embossing powder collection. While I was at Michael's, I also picked up some Jelly Roll pens. I have a few of these um, from when I was in high school, which is a really long time ago. Uh, but I did like the ones, I guess they're called Stardust and they have these little stars on the lids and they're so pretty. They just write really nice. They have glitter um, in them and I think they're beautiful. So I just picked up a few of these. This one that's red actually is more like a magenta pink. So they have little um, rolls of paper at Michael's and you can test out the different pens. So I did test these out and I loved these colors. So I grabbed a few more of these. I use these quite a bit in some card videos you may have noticed. And then last but not least, I picked up a few new Copic markers. Um, for my collection. So I got BG70 and R81. This is Ocean Mist and Rose Pink. I'll pull out my Copic chart so you can see. And so R81 will fit down here in this space. And then BG70 fits right there. So it's, they're all kind of separated from other colors. So it's, they were a good couple to pick up. Um, I haven't been to my local Michaels in a while. And now their Copic markers are in a cage behind the cache. It used to be you could go into the art section and there would be a rack of them and you could pick them up and test them out. So now you need to know what colors you want because it's, it is hard to tell by the caps what they actually look like. But I do like that they are behind a cage because um, a lot of people sort of are rough with the markers and when you get them home they've got ink all in the lids and Sometimes the nibs are bent, it's not really great, so it's nice to see that they have these behind glass now. Now I will be doing a Copic haul. I have a few more Copic markers that I have and some more that I want to pick up, and I'll be doing a Copic marker haul shortly too, and I'll color in my chart in that video. I know people like to see that. It's I enjoy watching those videos too, I find it fun, so watch for that. Make sure you subscribe as well so you're notified when that video is posted. And so this is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Uh, be sure to give it a like if you do. I appreciate the thumbs up and all your support. And if you've been buying some uh, craft supplies lately, let me know what you're interested in and what you're lusting over and which ones you've picked up lately. Thank you so much for watching.